And that weather has been impacting some folks trying to get home tonight. Nearly 24 hours ago, a mudslide forced crews to shut down a 70 mile stretch of Highway 95 between New Meadows and Grangeville. But within the last 30 minutes, we just received an update that a lot of those stranded folks have been waiting to hear. Our Shira Matsuzawa joins us in the studio with a look at what road crews are saying. Shira? Yeah, Gretchen, I've been in contact with the Idaho Transportation Department throughout the day, and I just spoke with them a short time ago, and they tell me one lane is now back open on Highway 95. Definitely welcome news for those folks who are stranded. Now, this is some new video just into our newsroom. TO engineers also flew a drone over the area and snapped a photo of what the area looked like earlier today. ITD says this all started after Riggins received a lot of rain at once last night. In fact, the National Weather Service tweeted one to two inches of rain actually caused that mudslide. ITD says crews were working to clear away a 200 foot long section of mud that was about four to five feet deep. But as we mentioned, they've cleared away enough mud and debris to reopen one lane. I spoke with ITD's May and Saucer a short time ago. For now, drivers can expect a pilot car to take them through the zone. It will look like there's room to have two lanes, but we just want them to remember that we still need that other lane right now to work on emptying the ditches. So if we get any more rain, that we don't have another mudslide that shuts down the road. And that's news Scott Harris and his family have been waiting for. He says his wife, 15 year old or 15 month old daughter and 12 year old son were driving back from Las Vegas when they got stuck in Riggins last night because of that mudslide. Gosh, you know, they were in the car nine hours that day. And so, you know, then to get to Riggins and find out that, um, you know, they can't make it the last hour to get home. Uh, it's, it's very, you know, of course it's, it's frustrating, but then when there's no rooms to be had, um, that can create a bad situation for, for anybody traveling that route and not knowing exactly when they can get home. Um, yeah, that is not fun either. Scott says his family had a tough time finding a hotel because there were so many others who were stuck and there's also a big rodeo in Riggins this weekend, but thankfully his family was able to stay at a friend's home in McCall and he told me earlier that if the lanes weren't open by tomorrow, his family would have to take an alternate route home, which would have turned their one hour drive left into a 10 hour detour. So I'm sure they're glad they won't need to do that now. Again, one lane is now open and crews will be working through the night to open that second lane. Gretchen.